Today we are repatriating a total of 248 extraordinary cultural treasures uh, from southern India. Each of them has their own story and each of them or several of them are from different investigations. What Mr. Kapoor was actually doing was trafficking over the course of decades, pillaging from temples and sites around India, Cambodia, Thailand, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar. So we've been working on this case for 13 years, uh, and uh, it was just a traditional a screening of custom screening of shipments coming in that seemed out of sorts. The, the paperwork just didn't seem to be correctly filled out. Um, it raised the suspicion of customs inspectors and when they, we opened up the crates um, determined that they were indeed artifacts without any paperwork, no provenance, no, no proper invoices. And so that led us to dig deeper into who was shipping these items and we learned it was Subhash Kapoor and once we began targeting him specifically and any shipments from him, it was a treasure trove of pieces that came, were coming into the port. These networks are, are very sophisticated, these smuggling networks, often riding with false paperwork to fool the, the average collector or buyer who doesn't do enough digging into the research, into the provenance, um, that it would pass muster at first glance. But we always preach, and I think that our community preaches, perform due diligence before any antiquities purchase. And if you start to peel back the onion and dig a little deeper, you'll discover that the, the paperwork was paper thin. <laughs> 